Welcome back. You're still watching The Morning Show here on ETV. Now, when you think of DIY, one can easily think of muscled men and work boots. But my next guest is a woman who is changing the face of DIY in South Africa. Her name is Yolandi Nsele. Yolandi, a very good morning. Welcome to The Morning Show. Good morning, Morning Show, and good morning to all your listeners. Lalela <laughs> Yolandi, is it as is Ninganga, Gagia Pegua, Gukogua, Amahai Hill, UM Sevenzini, when I was a car, Zongena good DIY, Unganeganja, and good DIY, Unganelani. Yazi, Unganawam good DIY started from the tender age of eight. Unkulwami, I guess I was the first grandchild. So my grandpa. Uh, needed someone to help him around the house whenever he was doing mechanical work on the, on the car or if he was uh, putting down tiles on the tile floor in the kitchen or even fixing up a cupboard. And I was the only one available, so he roped me in yes. and I've been changing car tires, building things from then. <laughs> you, so you are that girl. Yes, I am proudly that girl. <laughs> so what was the, the first item that you, you made, uh, Yolandi, when you discovered, which actually, I can make things myself? It was actually for my wedding. Uh, I actually uh, created um, this, I, I created the decor for my wedding. Uh, that's when I was like, okay, no, I can definitely do this. But then for my content creation, I actually created couch armrests for my YouTube channel. And uh, from then on, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm accepting this. This is me. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to run with it. And I mean, you're speaking of content creation and Ukuluma Futinange YouTube channel. Yako. During the lockdown, Abandabaningi discovered Duguti. They also have the love for doing things themselves. And we went to YouTube, we went to Pinterest, and all sorts of other social media platforms yeah. for a bit of inspiration. What have you found with lockdown? Have you had a lot, of, a lot more people follow you, a lot more views? Yeah. How has the lockdown affected you? Yes, I actually, before lockdown, I was sitting at... 600 uh, for, uh, uh, 600 subscribers on YouTube. And currently today, as we speak, I'm on 1,100. Uh, so people have been searching more on how to do certain things themselves. Yeah. And also I think um, the fact that lockdown has prevented a lot of people from uh, contacting plumbers or contacting carpenters to come to their house and fix up certain things. I think that's also what is encouraging people to, to be searching about DIYs so that they can uh, do things themselves. And I mean, Yolandi, most of the time you'll find that we associate DIY Nabantu Beslisa. And be accepted as a woman who is a DIYer, if I can call it that. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Um, it, it, I, I, I have not allowed myself to think of DIY as a male thing. You know, because, because I started DIY at the tender age of eight, for me, I associated with female. You know, because that's what I am. And within the DIY community here in South Africa, there's actually a lot of women that I've connected with, you know? So um, I think it's been challenging when it comes to approaching or associating with brands mm. because a lot of brands still use males for their advertisements, you know, and, 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 and for their campaigns. Um, but I've always recognized myself as a girl who can uh, work with a drill, who can work with a hammer, yeah. um, who can change a light bulb, who can unclog her kitchen sink if it's blocked, mm. you know? Uh, and, yeah, I honestly, genuinely never thought of it as a male-dominated thing. But the reality of today is forcing me to recognize that. And I think with my slogan of power tools uh, have no gender, yeah. I want to be intentional in addressing the fact that it's not about gender. You know, I mean, the lockdown has affected a lot of people in terms of finances, in terms of jobs. So for a woman who's sitting there who's thinking, hey, actually, maybe I can get into this, what would your advice be to someone like that? Can you turn um, DIY into something that you can make money out of? You definitely can. Um, I would definitely tell that young lady um, that get up, go to a warehouse, uh, a hardware store, and buy yourself 
the basic DIY tool set and build something. What would uh, be yes, the you basic DIY money. tool set, Yolandi? It, it would be um, a, a, a basic, um, it would be a drill, it would be your hammer, mm -hmm. it would be a set of nails, a screwdriver, we always forget the screwdriver, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and a nail gun and a glue gun. Those would be the basic things that I'd say uh, you need to have in, in your basic DIY tool set. And I definitely tell her that, girl, you can definitely make serious money out of this because I am. Uh, so some of the DIY projects that I do on my YouTube channel are requested by a customer. Mm. So somebody orders orders uh, that I uh, come and revamp their salon. So I get she pays me for that service and I get the opportunity to record it for my YouTube channel. Yeah. You know? And then let's speak about upcycling and, you know, restoring things in the household. I mean, we know we, we, we had an episode uh, here on the show where we're speaking about those kinds of things where people have old items in the house, but they don't know exactly how to revamp them. Where does DIY come in? It is, that, that is just um, so simple. And I, I know I know it's easy for me to say. To say, yes. <laughs> But, but the honest truth is that your, your coffee table, let's say you do not like uh, a, a strong uh, wooden tone that it has. Mm. You now want to change up your color scheme or your decor scheme around the house. You can literally just sand it down and, uh, and repaint it. You know, you can, I'm, I'm all for also recycling. Um, I, I, I've actually just recently recycled cereal boxes to create uh, storage containers for under my cupboard sink because my, underneath my cupboard sink, it was a mess, girl. Yes. So, <laughs> so I upcycled cereal boxes uh, to create storage, you know. So uh, you can definitely um, en encourage yourself to be creative. Use what you have, and you'll be surprised at how much you actually do have at your disposal. And Yolandi, I mean, just before we close, I'm looking at that uh, piece of, of, of uh, I think it's a, it's a bookshelf or a shelf that you have there behind you. Did you make that yourself? Because it does look very beautiful. It looks like, you know, a work of art. <laughs> yes, I did. Uh, it was one of my DIY projects. <laughs> what else do you have in your house that you made yourself? I've got my couch armrest. Uh, I've revamped my entire bathroom. Wow. Uh, I've um, I've got a a, a um, I've got a coffee table. Uh, I oh my gosh, I've got some. I've got a bar. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> Where do we find you on uh, on social media, uh, Yolandi? On all social platforms, I am DIY Yolandi, and this is Yolandi with an E. Yes. At the end, yeah. Yolandi, thank you so much for your time and all the best as you continue with your DIY stuff. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me and this has been awesome. Enjoy the rest of your day. Yolandi Nzele, DIY guru, joining us here on The Morning Show to speak to us about some of the work that she does. We take a short ad break now. Stay with us.